we just ran a package a little bit ago from Catherine Ross and me and Tessa were talking during the commercial break about some of the things to expect for the total solar eclipse. We know that it's happening, but what exactly does it mean? Just a little bit of some insight for you. When the last total solar eclipse happened in 2017, it was just to the south of us. This time around, we are right in the direct line of the moon, then passing directly in front of the sun, and it blocks all of the light. And we'll be in totality in Cleveland for about four minutes. It starts, so you'll start to see it when you need the glasses at around 2 p.m. And it lasts a total of about two and a half hours. But that peak is four minutes from about 3.13 to 3.17. And the most maximum coverage is right at 315. And it's not only a sight to see, you might be able to see stars, you'll feel the temperatures drop, it gets this false darkness, but you can also notice the sounds. There's going to be the birds stop chirping, you can hear the crickets as well. It's really, from what I've heard, fascinating. The last one in 2017, I was close, but not in totality, and I am putting it out there into the universe. We're gonna have a day like this. We need clear skies, we all need to manifest it because it's such a once in a lifetime opportunity.